What's up YouTube, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to install Securely on Windows. This method is also gonna work for Mac and Linux. Basically, as long as you have Java installed on your system, you should be able to install Securely on your system, as long as it's Windows, Mac, or Linux. So, first thing we're gonna do is go to launchpad.net slash Sikuli slash plus download. If you did not catch that, the link is gonna be in the description. And once we're here, we're gonna look for Sikuli X setup jar. For me, it's version 1.1.0. For you, it might be different depending on when you're watching it. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna download it. For me, I'm gonna download it to my downloads. As you can see, I already have it, so I'm not gonna download it again. Instead, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder. You can create this folder anywhere you want, depending where you want to install Sikuli. So for me, installation of the Sikuli is going to be right on my desktop. So I'm going to name this folder Sikuli. I'm going to take the jar from my downloads folder and drag it over to Sikuli. Now I'm going to open up Sikuli folder and I'm going to execute this setup jar. Just enable all of the packs and click setup now. Now, the very first dialog, Sikuli is gonna tell you what it's going to do. If you don't wanna proceed, click no. If you're okay with it, click yes. You're probably not gonna get this dialog and the following dialogs that you're gonna see me get. In your case, that's okay. If it's the very first installation, you're not going to see this dialogs. For me, however, this is not the very first installation, so I already have some of the files that Sikuli is going to use. So it's going to ask me whether or not I want to use them or I want to get a new copy. And if I press yes, that means I want to use what I have. If I press no, that means install new copy for me. So I'm just going to press a yes to all of these dialogues. And as I said, if you don't get them, that's okay. Now Sikuli is going to try to install all of the remaining components and run some tests. Now we're going to be waiting for a dialog to pop up that's going to say that installation seems to be successful and there's going to be a couple of them. There's the first one. And there's the second one. So that's it, installation is complete. Now we can run Sikuli to see, to make sure it can open ID. And to open ID, we're gonna execute Sikuli x.jar. Voila, ID opens. So in the next video, I will show you how to work with this ID and how to create some simple scripts. We'll do something fun. As far as for this video, it's done. Make sure to like the video, subscribe and share. Thank you guys for watching and take care.